Hi, my name is Ashlyn Everett. I'm one of the radiation oncologists at Alliance Cancer Care. Today, I wanna to tell you what to expect when you come in for your simulation appointment. So if your doctor has recommended for you to have radiation treatment, the next step is to be given an appointment for a simulation. What is a simulation? When we are going to plan radiation therapy, we need to simulate how you're going to be positioned for the radiation treatment. The goal of positioning you for radiation treatment is twofold. First, we wanna put you in the same position each day so that we know we're treating the right area, your tumor. Second, we wanna make sure that each day when you're in the treatment position, you're not moving, again, to make sure that our treatment is accurate and we're treating the area that we need to treat. Your doctor is going to order specific instructions for you particular to your situation. So this is very general guidelines about what to expect for simulation. But some patients find that they're going to be recommended certain preparation instructions when they come in for their simulation appointment. There are some patients who may receive an IV or some patients may be given specific instructions to drink water prior to their simulation appointment. On the day that you arrive for your simulation appointment, you're going to maybe be asked to change into a gown. I would recommend you to wear comfortable clothing, something that's easy to change in and out of, and you are allowed to keep your shoes on as well. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the devices that we use to position you for radiation treatment. Again, this depends on your particular situation. So for patients having treatment in their brain or their head and neck region, we will probably make a mask for you. Your may, yours may not look exactly like this, but it'll be something like this. So when the mask is warm, it actually will stretch down over your face and uh, shoulders to hold you in the same position each day for treatment. This cools down and then we take a CAT scan of you in this position. For patients receiving treatment to their chest area or even potentially your spine, we may be giving you a, a bag, it's like a bean bag that actually molds around your shoulders to hold you in the same position. So you can see that it's currently moldable. They will actually turn on a pump so you'll hear that sound in a moment that sucks the air out of this bag to help hold the right position around your arms. So you can see that this is now molded around her arms and is actually firm and will hold her in the same position for treatment each day. So in patients that are having their abdomen or their pelvis or their lower spine treated, we will want your arms to be up over your chest so that they're not in the radiation field and you'll hold on to a ring over your chest and then we'll actually have um, a sponge under your legs to hold your knees, as well as a ring around your feet to hold your feet still. So you will see the lasers overlay the X marks covered with waterproof stickers to ensure that she's in the same position for treatment each day. Once the marks are placed, you will then receive a CAT scan. It will be moved into the machine. And the CAT scan is very quick. You move out of the machine relatively quickly and you can see on both sides of the machine. So this is not one that people typically have problems with claustrophobia. Once your CAT scan is finished, you'll be allowed to get up and change back into your clothes. The staff will give you an appointment for your next visit, which is approximately seven to 10 days after your scan is completed. This gives your doctor time to plan and customize your radiation treatment to your tumor and your body. You should expect the entire simulation visit to last anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes depending on your specific parameters. If you have any questions or concerns about this process, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask your nurse or your physician. Thanks so much.